YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the different needles that you can use in your machine. I think some of you are a little nervous about picking up new needles. You're afraid you're gonna get the wrong needle. So hopefully at the end of this, you'll feel a lot more comfortable with the needles you're going to pick. So first of all, you do not have to use the brand of needle that your sewing machine is. I have some Singer needles here, I have some Brother. I myself am a Schmetz needle girl. I love Schmetz. And as far as I know, Schmetz doesn't even make a sewing machine. So you don't have to use the brand of needle that matches your sewing machine, first of all. Um, second of all, it is incredibly hard to buy a needle that won't fit your machine. It's not about the machine, it's more about the fabric. So, let me come around to the other side. I have some graphics I'm going to share with you, and we will get to the bottom of this whole needle debate, okay? First, let's talk about the parts of the needle. The very tip of it up here is called the butt. Your size is usually printed right here. This whole thing right here is called the shank. Now that's important. The shoulder is where it tapers down into the long part, which is your blade. There's a groove down in this blade where your thread fits. Right about here, there's a little indention called the scar. And that's very important. That's where in the machine, there's a hook and it goes in the, through the scarf. It actually has to go in between the needle and thread. So that's why it's indented. There's a little metal hook that goes in there and that's what makes your stitch. You have a hole here that's called your eye. This part is called the point and then there's the tip. Okay, so this way you'll know what I'm referring to. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the shank. There's only two kinds of shanks that I'm aware of. And this is what determines whether it will fit in your machine or not. So here are two, okay, here's two different ones. I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not. This needle is a regular household sewing needle. This is what's in your machine. And if you can see, one side of it is flat and the rest of it is round. This other kind of needle is round, all the way around. It's a perfectly round needle. I don't know if you can tell. Anyway, so you have the flat shank needle and you have the round shank. We don't want the round shank. I have these because I have another a real, a commercial machine and that's what uses these. These flat shanks are mostly what is sold in the store. These are for your household machines. The benefit is this flat shank will only go in your machine in a certain position. So you don't have to worry about it getting in the wrong place. This one you have to put it in the machine and then you have to gently turn it until it gets in the right position. So there's kind of an adjustment there. And these are called the systems of your machine. Now if you notice, on all these packages, there are so many numbers, but one thing they all have in common is, and some of them hide it, but you see on all these packages, the 13705H, that is your system number. So if it has the 13705H, that fits a household machine. And it's incredibly hard to find one that is not. Some packages will list it as a 15 by one. Now, this package is the needle that does not go in a home sewing machine. If you will notice, it does not have a 15 by one and it does not have the 13705H. So these are the round shank needles. And that's what I mean. All these other needles, they'll fit your sewing machine. They're the right ones. So it's incredibly hard to find a needle that is not the flat shank. Now the other number, like on this one, down at the bottom, the 60, 
slash eight, that is the number or that is the size of the needle. So that's the next thing we want to talk about is needle types and needle sizes. So now let's just take a look at this package of Schmidt's needles. This is a package of universal needles. It does contain three different sizes of needles. The first thing you want to look at is it does have the 130705H. So that means it will fit your home machine. It has the flat back to the shank up there. Now, the other numbers down here, these tell you the size of the needle, and it's really the size of the needle blade, the long part right here. This package contains um, five needles. There's two 7010s, there's two 8012s, and there's one 9014. Now, the reason each needle has two numbers is a dual country kind of thing. One number is for European sizes. The other one is what in America it's referred to. So it's always going to be a 70-10. It's always going to be an 80 and a 12 or a 90 and a 14. The pairs of numbers will always stay the same, and it, it really doesn't matter which one you want to use to refer, it, refer to it. These numbers refer to the thickness of the blade right here, and that's it. It doesn't have anything to do with the shank. It's just the thickness of the blade. And the larger the number, the thicker the blade. So if you're going to use a fine fabric, you want to use a thinner blade if you want to, and a thinner thread. If you want to do denim, then you need to go for a, a bigger number, like a 90, because you're probably going to use a thicker thread. What that has to do with is the thicker the blade is, the larger your groove is. And you want the groove to be big enough to hold your thread. So that's one consideration. Now, all these different kinds of needles, it depends on your fabric. You choose a needle based on the fabric you're going to use. So these are universal. That means they're pretty much good for anything. Here's a Jersey ballpoint. Um, these are my favorites, the Microtex Sharp. They are super sharp. I do a lot of sewing with finer, uh, tighter weaved fabrics. So these are actually my favorites, the 8012. And you'll get packages of mixed types of needles. If you notice here, this is, says a costume pack, and then along here it's got a top stitch needle, a Microtex needle, jeans, stretch. The reason these needles have different applications is because of special things that were done to the needle to make it work really well for that particular application. It has to do with the size of the eye of the needle, um, sometimes there's a coating on it to make it slip through sticky fabrics. So knowing what you plan to do with the needle is going to help you choose which needle. Now, like I said, I am a Schmetz girl, and Schmetz has this wonderful little book right here that goes through all the needles and tells you what makes it special for that particular application. Like here, a leather needle, it tells you that it's for leather, artificial leather, non-woven synthetics, not for use on knit or woven fabrics. The feature of it is it has a cutting point. This is a wonderful little booklet, and the Schmetz website has some fantastic information. So I'll drop a link to that website in the um, comments below. And later on, we'll talk about some of your specialty needles, like the twin needles or the triple needles. Um, there's also a wing needle for hem stitching that's very interesting. But for right now, we're just going to focus on helping you get some replacement needles. So, primarily, look for the 130705HM. That's going to get you the right shaft to go in your machine. Next, worry about the size. 
80 is a very common size. That's going to work for practically everything, a 70 or an 80. Um, some needles even come in a size 75, but your 80 is going to be pretty universal. So if you want to just pick up a package like this that has your 70, your 80, your 90. Now, sometimes... The eye of your needle, and I'm probably not going to be able to get you to see that. Anyway, this eye of your needle right here can develop a burr or a rough edge. That's going to cause your thread to fray. The thread goes through the eye of this needle many, many times before it finally makes it to stay in your fabric. So if there is a rough patch on that eye, it's going to shred your thread. And you'll notice when you look, if it keeps breaking and you notice that it looks like it's been shredded, then that's probably because you need to change your needle. Most of the time they recommend, I think, six hours on a needle. Um, I don't really ever look at the hour time, but I usually change mine after, you know, a, a project. And if my thread starts shredding, naturally I change it. And that's also why you have to be careful. You don't want a bent needle. If your needle gets bent, then that little precision thing there where that hook has to go in between the thread and the shaft of the needle there, um, if it's bent, it's not going to make it. So if you're having trouble, try changing your needles. And you know, they're, they make so many needles. You might even have a fresh needle in your machine and it could be a bad needle. So go ahead and change it. Well, I hope this helps some of you decide which needles you need to replace your the needle that's in your machine. Don't be afraid. You're honestly, even if you put the wrong needle in there, number one, it's not gonna fit up in the, the bar, the needle bar. If you try to put a round one in there, it's not going to fit because it's built for that flat shaft. And the only thing that's going to happen if you put the wrong needle in there, as long as it has a flat shaft, is it's just not going to work as well. So if you notice you're skipping stitches, you know it's not catching all the stitches, or it's breaking thread, it's shredding your thread, try a new needle real quick and see if that um, helps. Then go to the Schmetz website. Um, you can order these little booklets. I love them. They, they have the color guide so you can tell easily which what needle you have there. Sometimes it's really hard to see those numbers that are written on the shaft up here. And having that color-coded guide is a tremendous help. Because if you just use a needle for a few minutes, you don't want to throw it away. So you can easily tell which needle was um, for what size. It has one color for the size and one color for the special application. So like I said, I will drop a link. Go over to the Schmetz website and have a look around. There's some really interesting stuff there. I thank y'all for watching and be sure and subscribe and like. There's more stuff coming. See you back here at Mom's next time. Bye.